You there, Elf. What's your name? Uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. What do you need? You haven't brought more instruction from the Turn, I hope. Turn Logan has changed our scouting route a dozen times. If you're not from the Turn, what do you want? We're busy. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors. Our training has been passed down since Lathias the Dwarf's son first harnessed the battle rage of the Dwarves. It is an old tale. We harness the rage inside us, nurture it, and draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. It is a dwarven discipline, but we've adapted it to let us fight alongside our hounds. That is our way. I trust my hound with my life, as he trusts me with his. Then you are most fortunate. A trained Mabari hound is as dangerous as any sword. We do not speak of a city pet, or, or those things that sit in an old woman's lap. They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies, but the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with Cadiz, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the Darkspawn horde, with luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Darkspawn blood is poisonous, and not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. The wardens say the tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt, and we kill. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Well met. We'll show these darks born they should have remained in the past. It's good to have Grey Wardens amongst us. With their help, perhaps we can push these things back underground for good. If you have business with the Ash Warriors, I suggest you speak to our commander. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from darkspawn blood. It's terrible. Good folk of Ferelden, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the maker in the land beyond the Fade, he shall not find you wanting. Go not into death gladly, but with the knowledge that evil has been held at bay by your spilled blood. And if you go to stand beside the maker, go with our blessing, for you shall not be forgotten. My friends, let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall. Well met. Shh, we're trying to listen. If you'll excuse me, we are praying. How do you do? Aren't we receiving a large number of reinforcements from the Grey Wardens in Orlais soon? Hail, Grey Warden. Hail to you. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. The mages must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the Fade. The Fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead. 
or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they are not to be disturbed, not even by Grey Wardens. of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed your prophet Andraste now beg your forgiveness. Do not abandon us in our darkest hour. Watch over Terran Loghain and give him the wisdom to bring us victory against the Scourge of Shadow. Watch over Ferelden, the homeland of Holy Andraste. Keep Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynn, one of the mages summoned by the king. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Devinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Yes, occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Let us bow our heads and offer prayers to the maker, that he might find us worthy.